Hello my green fans and welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to the second episode of the tutorial town. Today we have a shorter one but still useful as I will teach you how to use one PO prop set of assets and how to make your own custom advertisements. For today we will need several things, Photoshop or any photo editing software you like to use, Chrome or any other web browser, Canva, a free to use web page for designing things, and of course PO and Sven Berlin asset pack of city ads. All the necessary links will be down in the description of the video. To get the asset pack we need, we will open City Skylines workshop page, search Sven Berlin and open his general workshop page. Then we will find the pack we need and we will subscribe to it. On City Advertising PO pack we can find his Google Drive where we need to download textures he made so we can customize them. After download is done, we can find them in downloads folder, we can move them to some other location and we extract all. Now that we have textures, we will make a Photoshop file, 512 by 512 pixels and we will add all the textures in and in this case rasterize them. Each of the textures has designated space where we will put our own custom designs and size they need to be in. In Photoshop we will take one of the textures and this one has custom space for art in 280 by 400 pixels, then we'll go to Canva and find design we like and open it in new Chrome window. And because Canva has its design already in predetermined sizes, we will make our own custom canvas to get size we need. Canva is free to use web page for easy graphic design even though they do have a premium paid content too. And because there is so much free templates I recommend that you use it for free. Now we will copy all the elements of the design from one window to the one that we made in custom size and do final adjustments. Now that we have a final design, we will download it, move it from downloads folder to desired location on our PC and drag and drop it on top of the Photoshop so you get it in a new tab.
Now we will go to our design, use Ctrl plus A to select all and copy paste in our original work file and move it in place. And because city skylines like to oversaturate textures and make them too bright, we need to darken our textures. We will add two full black layers on top and make one overlay blend mode and other multiply and play with opacity of both. And before we continue and export our texture, I highly recommend you save this work file as PSD so that you can use it to make more designs. And for export, the best is to use option in export tab and there you will find save for web and legacy. Then we can choose PNG format as that what PO can read and export on a place we want it to. Before we can use our custom texture in game, we need to copy PNG to local textures folder designed for procedural objects, as you see now on the screen. Now we can go in game, open procedural objects mode and then in the menu that pops up we can choose texture manager. Now we do refresh so texture gets loaded in game and a cool feature is that loading PO texture does not require reload of the whole game. It does take a bit of time so let it load and you will see number of local textures go up. The more textures you load in, it might take longer, but just let it do its job. Also if you prepare textures in advance in local textures folder, on the next game save load they will be there by default. Now we need to find prop version we made texture for, convert it to PO. After we do that we get auto pop-up of texture choosing menu, where we need to find our custom texture and choose it. After we choose it, we can plop the advertisement, but in this case I think I made the texture too dark. We can easily fix that and I will do just that, as it is all more or less a trial and error until you get it fully right.
And now I think it looks perfect. And now let's do one more example with more colorful and saturated design so I can show you how you can do that too. In this situation, because we have a design that is already very saturated, with this technique you will make it darker but even more saturated. So I myself like to first desaturate the design a bit and apply darkening as usual. And as you can see it looks dark enough and not oversaturated. As I explained earlier you can use two black layers or in some cases you can use just one in a normal mode, play with the opacity and also get good results. Also if you have some better techniques yourself, feel free to use them as this is just how I do it. And that is all for today, I do hope this will help you make your own custom advertisements and even find some other cool uses for this PO prop pack made by Sven Berlin. Once more I also want to thank you for all the support and welcoming the new subscribers, it all means a lot to me. As usual if you liked what you've seen in this video you can always leave a like and also subscribe or ring a bell if you want to see more and uh, if you want to get notified about my new uploads. Until the next video, stay safe and healthy.